concerns about NVIDIA, right? Mm-hmm. Should investors mm-hmm. be concerned about NVIDIA's recent stock market performance? What are the keys risks? And, you know, this is interesting because it said this actually last week when we referenced Meta. When Meta had actually, they had very good earnings um, last quarter. Yep. And their stock dropped because of comments that the COO made in the market just was a little pessimistic about the comments. It, it just disregarded the actual fundamentals. And this, so, you know, if you haven't watched NVIDIA, they uh, released their earnings last week and it was positive. Actually, you know, it was, it was, it wasn't bad, but it was a little bit of a disappointment for Wall mm-hmm. Street. And as a result, the stock actually dropped even. So F was saying stock can drop on positive earnings. Mm-hmm. And we said this on Monday, and it, that's exactly what happened on Wednesday. It dropped on positive earnings. So does this mean that the hype is just too much and that it is not – sometimes in life you can't live up to the hype, right? It's like if you are – or they're already saying you're the next Michael Jordan, even if you are a great player – you're yeah. still going to disappoint nine times out of 10 because you're not Michael Jordan. Right. And that's hard to live up to that type of hype. So is this NVIDIA's hype too much for it to actually, you know, live up to? No, I, I think um, it resets them back to reality. Um, I think we all can agree when they said Blackwell um, was not going to be announced that for sure is going to impact the market. I think if you continue to have, exponential returns you need to produce at an exponential level but i do respect jensen and the cfo for being honest and saying hey we won't be able to release it when we do i think that'll push the stock up even higher but i'm glad that they allowed them to reset to come back to a normal price um they bought back a lot of shares are they going to give up that lead no um a lot of amd has come down intel shambles so they don't have a a big competitive threat at, at the current moment um, but I think if they would have announced that Blackwell was going to be released January, February, I mean, I think those reviews would have been out of here and the stock would have went up even more. But I respect a CEO, a CFO, a C-suite for being honest about what's going on in the company. And like you said, the revenue miss was slight. They still have a great competitive advantage from a moat and competitive advantage standpoint. They don't have a nearest competitor. They're still really big in gaming. If Elon's dream of the auto taxi or autonomous taxi market becomes real, they're going to help lead that. So they're fine. Um, it, it's like if you have one bad quarter in a basketball game, like I'm not trading Michael Jordan in a third quarter because he had 15 points instead of 28. So um, I think some of this was overhyped, but I'm gl- I, I can only imagine as a CEO, I'm glad they're back to a realistic expectation. So next quarter, they can over deliver, but it's hard to over deliver eight quarters in a row. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think overhype. I'm big on the overhype sensation. Uh, yeah. When you talk about the numbers, it, it's kind of like what we were talking about last week. I, I, we were like, uh, maybe not a grand slam, but a home run. So I think yeah. they still hit a home run. You're talking about revenue increase 122%. That's yeah. like for a company of that size. Like we're not talking about let me, let me just say that number. dollar company. Like let me just say the number again. The revenue increased 122% year over year, reaching $30 billion. Primarily on the data center segment, which brought in twenty six billion, um, the growth is still growing in in terms of Hopper and Blackwell. So the, the yep. issue with Blackwell, which is the, the the new GPU, not so much that it's a production issue; it's how it's being made. So yeah. it's more difficult than its predecessor, and so it's taking a little bit more time. But from what I listened to Jensen's call, like I actually listened to him, yeah. he's like. P- pretty much he's saying y'all bugging like Incredibly i'm awesome. telling y'all this is coming and i'm telling you why we're having delays the least fate i've ever heard yep okay fine yep they also bought 50 billion dollars worth of stock back like that like, tells yeah. you how much they believe like if it was two billion or one and a half 50, okay. 50 is a lot bro yeah so when you see a stock buyback like that that means the company believes in the, obviously, they're investors. They believe in their future guidance, but they're also saying like we're taking shares back, and when there's less shares, obviously the stock price goes up. That didn't happen. Well, why didn't it happen? A couple of reasons, and we kind of alluded to it was the idea of how long can they sustain it. 
right? How long will the Metas, how long will the Apples and the Microsofts be willing to pay premium dollars for these chips? There's no answer to that because we don't, they haven't put them into use yet. We haven't seen if these CapEx expenditures are going to make sense for them long term. So I guess that's the pullback. Um, but yeah, I think overhyped. I, I'm, I, I, if it's not Jordan, it's LeBron at this point. And the crazy part, like the one they made the modification to be able to sell them to China. Like, bro, they have nine mega buyers. <laughs> now, if they go get Lily or Lenovo or another big player in Europe. Daniel, I know you got all them um, Spotify bot farms. You probably want to tap into the video to help that go. I know the music industry got you by the call. Yeah. But so that, that, if they that's get my... five more buy, if they're worth this at nine mega buyers, if right. they get seven more in three years with Blackwell, what is that going to do? Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. You think about that, that future product. It, I mean, it hasn't happened yet, but that's, I mean, potentially more growth when, you, when you're talking about the, the Chinese market. Um, and then they had some other segments, gaming, we, they saw yeah, gaming. In, autos increase. So there, there's different pockets that they're actually seeing growth in. Um, it was interesting. Like you said, when we were, I think it was the last quarter when we watched Meta pull back after just meeting every revenue model. These, this is part of it. This is part of it. But like I said, either way, you're going to look at Thursday and say, yes, I'm happy I'm in NVIDIA or hey, it pulled back a little bit to a point where I can grab some more shares. I, I don't think you lose either way. Um, up. when, when, yeah, like, is it a? I got a text, um, a couple of texts, like, is this the load the boat number? And I'm like, nah, but somebody nah, caught one of our gems when we were talking about it previously. When we caught 107, they're like, well, what's the next target? And I was like, does it start with a nine? And that next target for me was 97. Yeah. Um, and obviously it hit there, but yeah, it, go, it goes down to 119, 117. Yeah, not even over. And the crazy part, they haven't even expanded to business to government. Or national education, <laughs> like they have some big targets on the like. Once again, they have nine mega buyers. I mean, if they add three, that'll push them up into the two thirties, two forty. Like, yeah, I think you'll be on the wrong side of history to not be in favor of the stock over the. Because so I'll, I'll open this up to both of you guys and Stripe. Maybe I'll start with you because just from my eye standpoint of, of viewing it. Is it working to his benefit or is, will it work to his detriment to be the, the known CEO, right? Like we know Tim Cook, we know Zuckerberg, and now Jensen is put, becoming one of those CEOs that we now know. Does that open it up for attacks? Yeah, of course. It, also, it, it definitely opens up for attack, but it also could be beneficial as well. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it worked for Elon Musk. It worked for Jeff Bezos. Steve Jobs. It worked for Steve Jobs. It's working for... Tim Cook, it worked for it's working for Sam Altman. Mm -hmm. So Rockefeller, John D. Rockefeller. Like if we go back to the history, James Pimpop Morgan. Like I know they they'll criticize us sometimes for the celebrity. The mm -hmm. one thing that the celebrity part is really good for everyone, right? The Q score. If that Q score is high enough, you will find another nest if you get kicked out. As soon as Steve Jobs got replaced by Scully, what he do? He went to Bill Pixar and got hot, but he made sure his name stayed in the press. So when he came back, these were my rules in my company. I'm going to run it how I want to run it. Kind of hard to do if no one knows you. Yeah. That's the part of silly. Like you need that celebrity CEO. And if you look at the index, the celebrity CEOs. Okay, really quick, who is the CEO of Intel? Well, I, how about I give you, so like, let's, let's take Bezos, right? Amazon CEO, but Jesse is now the CEO. Not as kind of like just doing a job, growing business, kind of yeah. out of the limelight. Same thing with Lily is kind of out of the limelight, even to a set. Nutella at Microsoft, if you, I mean, yeah, he's done interviews. Quieter. Quieter, right? So I'm just, yeah. there's, there's two distinctive type of CEOs. I'm just. Right, because I, I I could see as Jensen, he's becoming a superstar. He's becoming a star, he's becoming a household name. The leather jacket, the the sign in the boobies, like the largest. See, that's the part that about like once he did that, and he went WWF Shawn Michaels. I said, boy, you don't went too far, and we'd all been there. The boobie sign. I would prefer my CEO to not be signing nobody titties at a convention. Well, most of the largest companies in American history have always had a superstar CEO. Absolutely, and especially in the last twenty years. If you look at Microsoft. 
they had Bill Gates. If you look at Apple, they had Tim Cook. I mean, they had uh, well, um, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Jobs. If you look at Tesla, they have Elon Musk. If you look at Amazon, they have Jeff Bezos. Michael Dell from Dell Computer. I mean, the only one maybe Google. The CEOs aren't as well. Then they they haven't really you know put themselves out there. Yeah. As as, they, as other former people that I just named, but most of the most of mm-hmm. the top five companies if you look at meta you have mark zuckerberg most of the top five companies have had superstar ceos yep like 90 percent. so good for business it's it inevitable is, but it's just it inevitable. inevitable but one of the things i talked about on stage at invest fest character of the founder or ceo i don't think jensen has a character issue but i do like if my ceo is public facing to have impeccable character you see that with satya you see it with Tim Cook. You like you've seen it with even at Google with Sergey. Like very little scandals, very little issues. So Zuckerberg, very little scandals, right? So it digs more into the character of the person. Um, but even from that that boob sign and thing, like he's cleaned it up since then, and I think focused back in. So um, I would prefer a silent CEO like the one at Lily. But if you can be a rock star and deliver, yeah. it's definitely a multiple on that for sure. Yeah, the, the the I'm just thinking from a standpoint when when we think of these rock stars, all the guys that you just named, antitrust usually comes. SEC hearings usually come. Now this, you look at Zuckerberg three years ago. It felt like every yeah. month he's sitting in front of Congress trying to defend yeah. himself and his business. Whereas we haven't seen that yet from Jensen. We haven't seen it yet, but it could be coming. Well, that's yeah, regardless, you can't avoid that. Like I said, Google, they still they face still antitrust, yeah. and yep. they, they don't have a superstar CEO. So no, if you get to the top five, you going, you going to get. Yeah. It's, it's gonna you gonna make the rounds. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's inevitable. Yeah, it happened with AT and T. Like when it was my bill, people didn't know they they broke up AT and T over monopolistic practices. Most people didn't know the CEO then. So yeah, if you become top five, it's gonna happen regardless. So top five, top five. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Can't can't avoid it. Mm-mm. Can't good problem. Gotta stay hot at all costs, no matter what. <laughs> I mean, it's a good problem, right? Oh, it's, it's a great problem to have. Yeah, yeah, you have trillion dollar market cap, and then you took a company from ninety bucks, and now it's worth a thousand. Rock star. And if we're gonna be very honest, Jensen, not as great as Steve Jobs, but he is this generation, Steve. Like we need that for even as a bunch of American brands have been sold off internationally. We need superstar CEOs to look to as a beacon of hope in the market. Yeah. yeah. We really and do. even, I feel like they're not in a position to really get, they don't have, they need that. They need their services. The chips is something that's vitally important. So you can't attack them. You can only attack them so much. You What they got to look out for, for copycats, like people that's like, you know, their competitors that's coming in the space, that, that probably more of a threat to them than the government. People that want to like, because even like if you you talk about like we joke about the um the fashion thing, but you can just see like in the financial literacy space, a lot of people have copied like you know you start to see drip reports or people wearing eye spectacles that that don't need prescription glasses. When <laughs> no, I'm just being honest. So when you set a mark, right, <laughs> you're you're going to have people that start to copy, right? So. Yep. It's up to you to be one step ahead. That's why it's like, okay, all times. This we're not doing pajamas this year. We're going to do suits. We're going so now y'all copy that, mm-hmm. and then you know what I'm saying. Because continue to pivot. You if you don't reinvent yourself, you're destined to failure. Yeah, for failure. It's just it's just because at a certain point in time when everybody starts to copy you, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, the replica is going, is going to get more traction than the original. And no, and then it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to really know who's the original, who's not the original facts. Like the, give me my money thing. Like the dude that started that's from our neighborhood. Nobody knows. Really? I didn't know that. (laughs) Yeah. Shout out to Jono. Nobody knows that he went viral 10 years ago off that, but it's, it's gotten so diluted now that, it doesn't yeah. matter. The, the original person that started it doesn't even matter, unfortunately. That happens all the time with culture. Like we see stuff that happens all the time with who started this dance and J Boy, J B Block Boy started this, right? And it's like by the time Fortnite got it, Fortnite got it, it's, it's Fortnite's it thing. Everywhere. 
it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I think that that's important for all the entrepreneurs out there to kind of keep in mind that you're going to get competition from people that's copying what you're doing. That's part of it. How, what are you doing to reinvent yourself and stay in one step ahead? Yeah, my biggest worry about NVIDIA is if they expand into China, will China be able to recreate those chips? If so, that is something we don't want. Giving them access to the technology. If you get close enough, because China's so great at replicating everything. Well, China's at it with Japan right now over chips. Um, so that, yeah, so, you know, that's it's going to be an interesting... It's interesting time. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, for sure. there's always AMD, guys. <laughs> which is, which is, is is a great company great company yeah. second fiddle but great company yep Harold pay, atten Meyer. pay attention who 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 did this quote unquote i know we always like kind of like gloss over it when we say like nobody knows what's in the chip sack but like really read it and look where the money is going you can see the it. government is saying that we're not letting this these companies die we're actually putting money into these companies to make sure that we stay dominant and we don't become as reliant on other companies that are overseas look inside and then intel got that money and then talk about they want to split it <laughs> in two companies y'all ain't damon hove what is it? like what come on man don't nobody want two factions of that garbage shout to you off i have a run until you had they gonna run you. intel they, they, their execs about to come after you <laughs> these are just jokes um i'm gonna put on my cape then you know i'm just catering to my audience oh, no, I'm gonna yeah. that. Yeah. of course we support Cap auto, please. I, I got a Dell computer right here with an Intel chip. <laughs> For real. <laughs> a compact Corsario. <laughs> compact. With a Pentium 3 processor in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> what about the um potential $10 trillion valuation? Of NVIDIA? Yeah. A shout out to the analysts who came up with Oof. it. Um, I've been there too, trying to make a hot point in 10 trillion is crazy. <laughs> I ain't, even, yeah. I'm I'm what, like, what? I ain't even gonna hold you. That's crazy. What's the entire valuation of the whole stock market? 52? Uh like, bruh, like 10 trillion. It, <laughs> they must about to cut rates 14 times before the year is over. I don't see it. But, but did he give a did he give a time frame? No, the the, that's the the great thing to do is to give a bold ass prediction with no time behind it. <laughs> so Hundred ten trillion. Years, like I told you, see. So, so total total market cap is a hundred and ten trillion. You know I mean, it's not theoretically impossible. It just depends on how long. It's like saying Bitcoin yeah. get to a million dollars. That's not. If it may take twenty five years. Yeah. Yeah. So if he yeah. says, "All right, it's going to get to ten trillion in twenty years," twenty years. Possible. We'll see, man. Possible. Yeah. The way inflation kicking up now, that yeah. should maybe possible in 12 years. I ain't even gonna lie. And the crazy part is like if they figure out how to corner a bunch of other sectors and then they stop going start going after the top four in every sector, possible in 12 or 15 years. That's what that's time well, what's it what's the market cap right now? 2.9 to yeah, almost three. So I mean it's it's almost impossible that it won't get to that in 20 years that's only three that's only three doubles in stock yeah but, but they got to deliver on blackwell like um that's the, like if, if, gotta, if it works well i'm just saying just yeah it, it has to it, work amazing well not really i mean if it if it goes up seven percent to like ten percent a year for 20 years that there you have it. I mean, if we're playing a long game, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it goes up 10, if it averages out at like 10% a year over the course of the yeah. next 20 years, which is very reasonable expectation. Yeah. I mean, because once it triples, once it, once it doubles, it's, it's in four or five mil trillion. And then all I got to do is double one more time. And then it's in 10 trillion. You're talking about some exponential numbers. Though. Like, uh, they, they but if it, it, as I'm saying, the product has to work. If the yeah, product, product has to work, I'm just, saying, I'm just well. saying, obviously, I'm just yeah. saying it's based off of Right, like past performance is not a, a, a guarantee of future of expectation, right. but it it is something that you can gauge off of. So if we look at Apple's performance for the last thirty years, we can kind of yeah. gauge it for the next twenty years, right? Yeah. We can so we can kind of gauge their performance off the last ten years, and we can gauge the need. It's only going to be more need for chips. It's only going the demand's only going to grow. So we can kind of have a, a guesstimate of what it would do over the next ten to twenty years, right? And that's a that's a reasonable expectation. 
if AI delivers, yeah, they'll be in pole position to be able to take advantage of it. But if it, they unveil the lid and see the most AI is yeah. hype drink the best. And they have the lead. So they have the lead for sure for the next at least three years. Yeah. At least. Oh, yeah, easily. But we probably have decade. Yeah, we, we can say, we, I mean, on conservative, we can say three, but we could really go to five, the lead in the space. Yeah. Um, so that's a hell of a head start. And it, it depends on their focus. I know because I can only imagine the the press and worldwide reception and love and adornment that he's receiving. If he can stay focused for another five years, yeah. And Steve got started earlier though, and succession planning is really important. Like who are you gonna have a company off to? Because Jensen's a little bit older, and this I mean, made people money. Up. We we can't like we have to put that part in it, right? Like this is yep. a company that has made retail investors money over the past three to three to. Four four years that they've never seen before yep that just made i mean the it alone people just hear the name because the average person who's just invested and if they put money in it four years ago has made money a ton i okay. never i mean word of mouth is 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 the the best publicity so it makes him a superstar in a sense because you've made money with yeah. his company B big lesson continue to over deliver at every turn if they can do that they'll be a-okay